Sam, you were gone for a while. I was getting worried about you. You shouldn't have been. I can handle myself. And Andy said that he noticed a carton of cigarettes missing from the supply room. Did you take them? So what if I did? Sometimes a girl needs a smoke to clear her mind. You can't keep doing this. We need you here. No, you don't, Blake. I don't fit in here. I was better at Kentsville with those people. None of the people here are as adventurous as I am. Well, it's kind of hard to do that after Kyle bailed on us and the original members of this place tried to revolt against you and your friends. Even after all the time that's passed, they don't want to forget that. I can tell. Annie takes the most extreme precautions to avoid that happening again. Almost too many precautions. She's only doing it to keep us safe. Still, I can't stand being a part of this community anymore. It's worse than how it was before. Hold on. Let's stop here for a moment to let the horses catch their breath. Alright, everyone hold up a second. So, do you have any idea on what the meaning is behind what Mitch told you with whispering walkers? I'm not sure. Liz and I were talking about that after he told us the story. We thought maybe it's people covered in walker blood, but him and Chuck definitely would have seen them. Probably. But maybe there's nothing really there. Maybe they were just imagining hearing things between fall damage and a long journey back and forth through the cold. I just want to be sure about this though. Plus there might be supplies at that place that we can use. Just watch your back, Emma. If this whole thing with talking walkers is true, then who knows what other bullshit will get thrown our way. <sighs> yeah. Who knows what else this world has up its sleeve for us. You folks are new. What's the story with you? Let's just say that in the old world, I wouldn't be exactly honest with you. You say that as if you're the only person to plead guilty to lying, because you certainly aren't. I'm Lloyd, and I was a con artist a million years ago. Steven, that's actually pretty damn cool. Never thought that I'd meet a criminal so late into the outbreak. I've managed to get by, thanks to the skills that I picked up living in this world, and what I knew on manipulating people before. This one time, we ran into a group of bikers that acted threatening at first, but I managed to convince them that I was a cop before the world fell to pieces. Once I told them that, they surrendered their guns to us, and they went on their way. Wow, you sound like quite the slick fella, don't you, Lloyd? I guess I am. Hopefully I don't see those bikers again, though. Alright, everyone. Let's get back on the road. I don't want us getting back home too late at night. Look at you. You're like a big brother to him. Speaking of big, he's gotten a lot bigger since I last saw him. Yeah, I'm just as surprised as you are. I mean, he's still quite a handsome young man. I'm sure that once he's fully grown, little Patrick will be the best looking guy in this whole community. I would hope so. Here, let me take him. You still have to help Jake with his work today. Yeah, I know. I'll be back later to read him his bedtime story. Uh, do you think that you could swing by Alice's house to see if you could borrow some books that Scott doesn't read anymore? Sure thing. I'll see what I can do before getting home later. God damn, Jake. This is something that I've never seen before. It's my newest model that I've made. It actually took me quite a bit of trial and error to perfect it. Forget about my arm. 
This thing could cut a whole walker in half. What, you want to attach that to your arm? Well, if it's possible. Good news. Looks like you're healthy, Alice. Oh, joy to the world. Now, you aren't feeling any pain in your stomach or back or anywhere else? Not really. I feel fine physically, Isabella. My mental side is a bit of a different story, though. Oh. Well, I hope that you'll figure yourself out and get your mentality back on track. Me too. It's just gotten harder to talk to others these days. I feel like all of us have changed so much over the years. I understand. This place and the people here aren't the same as how they used to be. Well, I should probably get going and let you get back to work. Thank you, Isabella. It's always good to know that there's someone here that keeps tabs on our health. Hey man, I'm here to take your watch for you. You're here a little early for it though. Eh, I've got nothing better to do. Sure thing, Ray. Let me just grab my stuff. You know, I really don't like the way you've been looking at me lately. Well, when you tell me about how much of an ass bag you were, and one of my people suddenly get killed, you get kind of a bad feeling inside of you. <sighs> Look, I didn't kill your friend, and I have no clue on who could have done it. And even if I did know, why would I allow it to happen when I know that it could put Lucy in danger? How would I know? Maybe it's part of your plan to take out all of us, but spare her life. Whatever, dude. I'm not in the mood to hear this shit from you of all people. I'm going back to bed. Be ready to get the next person awake for your relief. <sighs> I'm sorry for that, Ray. What are you apologizing for? I'm just sorry that you had to get an earful from him. I'd hate to have to deal with him shaking me down. I've had to deal with dozens of pricks through my lifetime. It's practically become part of my daily routine. I mean, if it makes you feel any better, I don't think you did it. I appreciate that, Franklin. Now, why don't you get some more sleep? You're gonna need it when it's your time. Looks like we're getting close. Get those weapons out and be ready just in case. Who the hell even is that guy? He just sort of showed up out of the blue. I have no idea, but he's kinda hot. He looks so badass with that burnt half of his face. Oh Jesus, Sage. I don't need to hear your sexual thoughts with the new guy. Sorry, I just can't help myself. Well, that's quite a large problem right there. Great. What are we supposed to do now? Where do we go? If I remember correctly, there's a graveyard that we can cut through to avoid this horde. Let's move, everyone. Son of a bitch. Looks like we'll have to fight our way through if we want to get there. We'll have some of us fight the horde right here, while the rest of us dispatch the ones coming up behind us so they don't box us in. That's good enough for me. Let's get to work here, people. Hey, if we can get some help over here, we'd appreciate it. Don't worry, we're coming. How are you doing, Leon? I'm doing good. Real good. Alright, let's keep it up. Steven! No! What the hell are you doing? You got too close to our secret. And that's why you have to die now. Leon, 
Are you okay? I I don't know. I can't see too well. Here, we've cleared nearly all of them out over here. Let's get out of this horror show. Wait. We can't leave Steven behind. Not like this. You've been hurt badly. We've got to get you out of here to patch you up. It's been quite a few hours now. Where the hell are they? Emma knows what she's doing leading them. I wouldn't be too worried. Well, it's especially nerve-wracking when your boyfriend is out there with them. Alright, fair point, I guess. Hello? Leon, is that you? Hey, Annie. This is Xander. Xander? What happened? Is Leon okay? Leon got hurt, but he's still alive. What do you mean he got hurt? Something happened, and... We ran into some seriously dangerous people. I know I didn't know Stephen long, but he seems like a good guy. Even after all these years, it's still not easy losing people. We shouldn't stay here long. We don't know if more of those animals are still out there, watching us. We'll get out of here soon, Jeff. We just need time to let everyone gather their thoughts and think of a plan. It's honestly a shame that this is what this world has come to. So, what should we do now? I think that it'd be best for us to turn back. I can't afford to have anyone else get hurt or killed. What about the potential supplies or shelter? I could care less about that place. We can find somewhere else to help our people, if you say so. By the way, you grabbed this off of one of the bodies of who or what killed Steven. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Do you know what this means? Yeah, I've got a strong suspicion that Caden's group were the ones behind this.